everybody. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these uh, fact triangles here. So this is just a tool that people can use to help practice their um, multiplication and division facts. There are some for addition and subtraction too, so if these work for you and you're still working on multiplication or uh, addition and subtraction, these might be good for you. Um, what you're gonna notice here is that on um, each of the fact triangles, we've got 16, we've got four, and then we've got four. So we can see four times four is 16, four times four is 16, 16 divided by four is four, and likewise 16 divided by four is four. Okay, I'll show you another one. Here we've got seven, nine, 63. Seven times nine is 63. Nine times seven is 63. 63 divided by nine is seven, and 63 divided by seven is nine. These all work together to make what we call a fact family. So um, as you're practicing your fact triangles, one effective method I've found is to um, do it this way. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn your cards over so they're kind of like a, like a pile with a blank side. And then you grab any corner you want. I'll grab the top corner here. And I'm going to get uh, 35 and 5. What my job is to do is figure out what's underneath my thumb. So I could think 5 times what is 35? Or 35 divided by 5 is what? And I know that seven times five is 35. So my missing number that I've covered up must be seven. Okay, so try another one. This time I pulled there, we got nine something 45. So again, I know this is the answer is five. So nine times five is 45. Five times nine is 45. 45 divided by five is nine. And 45 divided by nine is five. Yes, okay, so we got those. So what I would recommend is I would recommend going through each and every one of these and just finding the ones that you know. So here we got 72. I'm picking up the triangles from one corner. doesn't matter if it's top, left, or right. Here we've got uh, 2, 4. So 8 is our missing number. And you're just going to go through these. You're going to make a pile. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. And so here's my pile. As we're going through these, I've got 6 something and 12. The answer is 2. That's our missing number. Okay, and you go through all of these. Now, as you're going through these, there might be some that you don't know right away. What does right away mean? I don't know, three seconds, somewhere in there. If you have to think about the answer, that's something you're probably going to want to practice more, and we're going to come up with some other strategies. So we're going through our pile. We've got two and two times eight is sixteen, so eight's our missing number. And then we've got forty-two divided by six is is, and I can go 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. Oh, it must be seven. Well, I don't really know this one yet, so I'm gonna put this into a different pile. And you're just gonna go through all of these, and when you're finished, you're probably gonna have a mastered pile, and you're gonna have some in your not mastered pile. So after you've gone through all of these, now these are the ones that you really wanna practice. And I would suggest going through all of these fact triangles once. And then each night, or whenever your practice session is, pull out the ones that you don't know, just like we did here, and then practice these maybe three times, okay? Three times, good number, I like that. Um, just something that will really challenge you, something that will help you get to think about this. And that way when good old 6742 comes up again, and you flip this over and you get, ah, oh yeah. I counted by six or seven times to get to 42. And you'll be able to remember that a little bit better. When you're finished, put them all back together, put them in your bag, and then when you come back the next day, you start all over again. Go through these once. So we've got seven, I know that. So we've got nine, I know that. Here we've got, oh, eight, um, eight, 16, 24, 32, holy cow. I don't remember this one. Oh yeah, that's right, it's eight. Eight times eight is 64. Put this into a different pile. Again, go through all these. I know those, I know those. Go through these one by one. Go through all those, I know these. Oh, don't know this one. And as you practice more and more, there are gonna be fewer and fewer that you, that you need to practice. And so we're finished again. Here are our cards that I need to practice. Those are the ones that I have mastered. Flip these upside down, I'm just gonna go through these three times the next night.
six, so eight. Eight times eight is 64. Remember that sign. This one. 35 divided by five is seven. Boom, there we go. I haven't mentioned this yet, but one of the things that I really like about these fat triangles is first of all, the answers are on the front, so it's not too far away from you. But second of all, it really emphasizes the relationship between multiplication and division. Like I said, we've got the fat families all the way around. We just gotta figure out what the missing corner is. Okay, that's fact triangles. Um, good luck as you practice your multiplication and division fact mastery. We'll see you next time.